Hello and welcome back to another guide for Neo Legacy 2 N3 migration. This is Edge with NNT and today we'll be going through the process of moving assets across chains when using a Ledger hardware wallet. Before we start, there's a few things that you should know and have ready in advance. The first thing to know is that depending on the number of assets you want to migrate, you may need to pay a fee. Migrating less than 10 Neo or 20 gas in a single instance will result in a one gas network fee being owed. The other thing to watch out for is an unspent output error. This usually happens when trying to send or migrate gas when using a ledger, and it's due to the limited amount of memory available on those devices. Try send a small amount of gas to your own address to consolidate your outputs and fix that error. There's a handy link in the description with more information about it. All right, let's start the ledger migration process. First thing we're going to do is open the Ledger Live software and connect to your Ledger Nano S or X device. We're going to make sure the firmware is at least version 2.0 for the S and 1.3 for the X. You'll also need both the original Neo and the new Neo N3 apps installed. You can uninstall other apps temporarily if you need some space and then just remove the legacy app after migration so that you can free that space up again. Now let's jump into Neon Wallet. You'll want at least version 2.9 to do the ledger migration. I'm using 2.9.2. .2. Make sure your ledger is connected and enter your pin if you haven't already. Then open up the original Neo Ledger app and navigate to the ledger tab on Neon to log in. We're now in our ledger wallet and ready to migrate. We can see our assets here. Switch to the migration tab and you'll be greeted with a prompt that says that it's time to switch over to the new N3 app on the ledger. So we'll exit out of that on our device and then enter into the new N3 app. And when you do so, Neon will derive your corresponding N3 ledger address. You can either stick with the default or you can use an alternate address if you so choose. Now let's go ahead and perform the migration process. We'll need to enter the amount of assets to transfer to N3. For me, that's going to be my maximum amount of gas minus the one that I'll need to pay for the transaction fee. On the next page, we can see some information to confirm. And we are prompted to go back to the Neo Legacy app in order to sign this transaction. All right, now we're ready to migrate. Continue through the next screens to send the transaction, signing it on your ledger device when asked to do so. After a short wait, you should see your transaction in the pending tab. Migration to N3 can take as little as 5 minutes to as much as 24 hours in rare cases. Be patient and hop on the Neo Discord if you need further support. Okay, now we can see that in the pending tab, our transaction has completed. So let's go ahead and sign back into the N3 version of our Ledger wallet in order to verify that the gas has been transferred properly. So I'm going to log out of this wallet, exit out of the Neo Legacy Ledger app and open the N3 one and use that to log into the N3 wallet. And there we can see that my gas has been migrated to N3 successfully. Now it can be used to vote, although at this time you will need to use Neoline or O3 to do that. Thank you all for watching, and remember to consider voting for the NNT node if this guide has been helpful for you.